Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Zach here, hope you're all doing good. Today we'll be uh, demoing and reviewing this MXR envelope filter. Basically this is a bass envelope filter, it's not for guitar, it's meant for bass guitar, but I like it better because I've got an influence from Eric Gales, if you don't know the man who he is, just go check it out on YouTube, it's an amazing guitar player, and he uses this one as well. So what is an envelope filter? An envelope filter basically is like an auto wah that reacts to your picking attack. So the harder you hit the, the notes of, on your strings, the more it opens up. The gently you hit them, uh, it stays closed. It's like you basically using a wah pedal and the, when you hit it hard, it's like rolling down all the, uh, the wah pedal. And if you hit it gently, it's like holding your pedal all the way up. So, in this one, you've got uh, five knobs, one for dry, for the dry signal of your guitar, one of the effects, which is the, ped with the wet signal of the pedal. You've got the decay system, which is basically uh, how it decays the, the filter. If you roll all the way down, it stays all wobbly and the low end, and if you roll it all the way up, it's, it opens up a little bit. The Q is basically the intensity of the envelope filter and you've got the sensitivity which is the response to your pick and attack. So if you're all the way up it's sensible so it reacts quickly and if you're all the way down it's not that sensible so you have to hit pretty hard in the strings. So now we'll try to play in the same song on the intro um, which is Purple Haze of Jimi Hendrix and I'll show you how it sounds. This is what's with the sensitivity at noon. As you can hear, it tends to be really, really wobbly. And if I like to the sensitivity to hold it quite at three, so you can hear. And basically you can hear this effect is played a lot on funky stuff and all that kind of stuff. You can use it for that uh, kind of stuff. So uh, I like all the settings to be like this. I'll show you how it sounds with the decay all the way rolled down. So. Wow. 
Now we'll try it all the way up and show you how does it sound. As you can see, all the low end disappears and basically you've got all trebly stuff. It's like uh, present, uh, present in the high end. So I like to hold it at noon so I can get uh, still a little bit of low end when you play all that stuff. So this is my favorite setting and the, the cue basically is the intensity of the effects so just like this is all the way rolled down let's hear it So it tends to be really subtle if you don't want any effects of that but I like this one as well all the way at noon. Now the the dry knob and the effects knob this one is basically your dry signal which is coming from the guitar if you roll all the way up you'll hear more of your strings. If you roll down this one you'll just hear Can hear you hear only the strings and if you roll down all the dry signal and you put up all the effects you just hit, hear the the wet signal which is this one which is basically all wobbly and it is really 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 wet so I like them to be at noon more or less more of the dry signal than the wet signal it's like this one my favorite setting so this is basically my favorite setting of the envelope filter and I like this pedal because you've got this blend option that you can't find on other pedals and uh, that's the thing I got this one for and you can go for the Qtron from Electro Harmonics there are several other uh, envelope filters out there I just went for this one because I've got this blend option and when I got it it was about at the price point of 150 bucks more or less you can find more affordable pedals but they don't offer the option to blend in the, the dry signal with the wet signal and more or less that's it. Let's hear some other clips.
So that's a wonderful pedal. A little suits your pedal pretty good. And basically that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll be seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.